Oh my goodness. Hey everyone and welcome back to the Woodland Reboot. It's Peter here at the Reboot. Those are some of the activities I've been keeping myself busy with during August, enjoying times with my family out at our cottage. I hope you're doing the same during this long weekend, this long Labor Day weekend. In today's video, I have some footage from uh, August of, not August, April 2019. Some sawmilling footage from way back at the start of my build process. If you're new to the channel, I've been building a 32 by 48 pole barn. This is some of the footage of those early days when I was sawmilling all the lumber for the project. I hope you enjoy and I look forward to getting another video out to everybody in the coming week. Take care everyone and enjoy Labor Day weekend. Hi everyone. I've got several days of milling ahead of me. I need to uh, finish up milling the lumber for the 32 by 48 garage, which is, going to be, which is going to be on that pad behind the camera. Right now I'm milling up uh, two by tens. The exact dimensions about an inch and a half by nine and a half. So it's a pretty decent sized piece of lumber. I've already got three of the cuts through. I need to do one more and then I'll have five two by tens out of this one log, which is pretty good. This is essentially maximizing some of the largest pe largest logs I have in terms of the lumber dimensions that I can get out of them, the largest pieces of lumber I can get out of them. There you go. It's not exactly the fastest uh, mill when you get into this size of lumber. Again, it's an entry level mill, does the job, does exactly what it's advertised as. And there you go. There's your. Uh, the bottom one's a little thin, it's not quite a full uh, two by, but at the very least. I've got uh, four more of the two by tens, and um, that's 20 in total. I need 24. I'm using the two by tens to create a um, roughly six by ten laminated beam that is essentially the rim beam uh, for the um, trusses in the roofing system, in the ceiling system. So it's going well. I've got lots of uh, lumber still to mill through. I've got these remaining logs to do. If I pan left here, I have those remaining logs. They're some of the largest logs that were in that pile of 72 spruce logs. I've got those to get through. I'm hoping to get through them by the end of next week. And I then have another load of 20 pine logs coming in. 20 pine logs, 16 footers, because I need um, 16 foot 2 by 6s for the girths, and I need 16 foot 2 by 4s for the purlins. So time to get on with milling, get through the logs, and then start the construction. I have really made, head, made headway 
in getting through that pile of 72 spruce logs during the last two to three months. I've got a bunch of 2x10s here. This morning I started doing uh, boards for the board and batten on the siding. I have 2x10s, 2x4s, 2x6s there for structure. And I got, of course I have this pile over here with 6x6s, 2x4s, 2x6s. 6 by 6s if I didn't say that already, as well as you see over there underneath the uh, the green tarp, I've got a bunch of, I think I've got 10 6 by 6s up there. All right, things are coming along, slowly getting through this pile of logs. It's starting to look really good. Welcome back to the sawmill today. Joining me as I flip and cut my way through three very large logs today. The priority, making two by fours. That is six, essentially one by ones, and a beautiful sunny spring day out here. It is, I'm going to say, about 8 degrees Celsius. I don't, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Hopefully I'll put it up on the screen here. But I think as I finished off in my last video, I'm down to six logs on the sleepers, with one of them being on the saw deck already, as you can see. I'm going to probably mill up one or two, at least two of the sleepers as well. And given the time I have out here today, I'd like to get through four of these logs. Not sure I will. Those first three, I don't know if you can see there with the light. The one that's on the deck, I mean, that's 14 at the big end. These are also the first two here, big logs as well. I'm going to start doing two by fours today. Anyways, there we go. That's the plan. Let's get busy. The first log on the deck is large. It's 14 to 15 inches at the large end. I get uh, underway by squaring one side and then of course a second and I get a chance here to show you how again I flip a log like this using my cant hook. Cant hook of course gives me the leverage to flip these very large logs. These logs will be in the neighborhood of 800 pounds. Now fast forward with a little editing magic and you can see that I have my square cant. This is a big log, I keep emphasizing the fact that it's big, it's big for me, it's big for this sawmill. To get the cant to the desired dimension that I'm looking for, I take off this top layer and then I'm ready to start milling what are essentially 2x10s. And I believe there are six 2x10s that I'm going to cut through this cant. You have to remember that the total depth of cut that I can do with my saw is six inches. That is that the blade guard and the blade themselves are six inches apart. What I have to do, given this six inch maximum depth of cut, is stop remove the three top 2x10s, you can see that I've moved them onto the uh, loading ramp, and then continue, continue on with making the rest of the cuts, i.e. the rest of the 2x10s. You can see me doing that right here. With the 2x10 cuts all made, it's now time to bring the other 2x10s back onto the milling deck and flip the log at the same time, or what is essentially the log at the same time. You see me moving around the various piles of 2x10s and getting them organized on the deck here so that I can now make the cuts that will result in actual 2x4s. 
and once these 2x10s are all secured, it's essentially two more cuts. One that I'm doing right now that will essentially create 1x1s or another uh, handful of stickers that I can use in my pile. But this final cut, which creates, I believe it is, 12 2x4s. These are the 1x1s and the 2x4s that I'm talking about at the beginning of the video. So what I'm going to do now is just fast forward and move into the third log of the day. You see me walking on the milling deck here. The deck is sturdy. It's also 12 to 14 inches off of the ground. And by doing this, I find that I'm uh, breathing in a lot less, less of the sawdust coming out of the mill. The extra height makes a difference. I mentioned several times in this video that I milled three large logs. I did indeed mill the three large logs, but I think in the video there's only two logs. So I've either misplaced the footage of the second log, or I just didn't take the video. And you'll also notice, as I've done in previous videos, I use the fast forward function quite often. If I didn't use the fast forward function, many of these videos would be in the 30 and 40 minute range, and I'm not so sure people want to tune in for that much milling. But leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see. If you'd like to see more raw footage of milling, that is not edited as much as I'm editing and or fast forwarding, let me know and I can uh, address and change the videos accordingly. So that's the third big log today in two by fours, two, four, six, eight, ten. Bottom row didn't quite get the width. Looks like it's about an inch. But um, at the end of the day, three big logs. I believe I've done. 42 two by fours in about the last two hours. If you probably add in the prep time this morning, changing out the blade, cleaning up the site a little bit more, I'll clean it out again tonight on the way out. I'll be closer to three and a half hours. Set up and tear down, kind of factor that into your work as well. So there we go. Productive uh, few hours here at the mill.